This is Keisha Baines for richgirlnetwork.tv. I'm at TCL Chinese Theater 6 for Shanghai Calling Premiere. How does it feel to be the newest heartthrob of Hollywood? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I am yet, but it's it's nice to be uh, in that sentence. That's for sure. It's uh, it's very sweet of you. But it's just it's good to be you know in this movie. It's uh, we're really proud of it, you know. So uh, we hope that it does uh, good things. I play Sam Chow. He's a Asian American lawyer based in New York, and he has a very uh, Western mindset when it comes to business. And so he gets relocated to Shanghai, makes every mistake you can make, um, causes a lot of trouble, and sort of reluctantly has to rely on the Chinese uh, friends he's made and the expat friends he's made, the people living there, to help him out. And it, it's great because it introduces that whole world that a lot of people haven't seen, you know, the, uh, the Americans living overseas, the immigrants that live in China. There's a huge population of Americans living over there, and that's what the movie does. It shows people in the States and people elsewhere that there's an America town. Like there's a Chinatown here in Koreatown. We take that for granted, you know, but there really is that going on. It's very interesting. And he falls in love, and he, uh, it's a character builder for him, and he turns around, and you know, it's, uh, it's in the vein of kind of like an old 90s rom-com, which is nice to see. Yeah. How similar is your personality to the personality of your character? Not very similar. Uh, Sam, uh, he's kind of a jerk in the beginning. I'm, I can only be a jerk sometimes, you know, when I haven't had my coffee in the morning, things like that. But he's very, uh, uh, he's very uh, fierce, business-driven, you know, um, he's a go-getter. And I'm I'm sometimes like that, but not not as much as Sam. But uh, at the end of the movie, he you know his character changes and becomes more real, more human. And uh, I'd like to you know say that I'm similar to him towards the end of the film, as opposed to the beginning. Well, congratulations and thank you so much. Well, thank you. Well, I play um, the unofficial mayor of what was called America Town. You know, over here we have Chinatown or Koreatown. Well, over there they have Western towns, in, in, you know, of enclaves of, of immigrants. And so uh, I was the unofficial mayor of America Town. And I play a character that, 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 that Daniel Henney comes to seeking advice. So I try to give him some good advice. It's, it's a light romantic comedy. I just kind of, I just help out a little bit. It's really a beautiful story with uh, Daniel Henney and Eliza Coop. How was the adjustment to Shanghai for you? You know, I, I, part of the reason I took the job was because I'd never been to China and I'd always wanted to go, and I, particularly Shanghai, which, you know, was one of the great, great cities of the world back before, well, uh, yeah, and now it is kind of again. So do you think you'll go back? Well, I'm already going back. I'm, I'm getting into the motorcycle business over there. And uh, also, uh, I've been hired by uh, Legendary to direct Kung Fu, start a new franchise based on the old David Carradine series. And that would be shot in China. Oh, we can't wait to see more of it. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Have a great night. You too. Amanda, and I'm a relocation specialist living in China and fluent in Chinese. And are you really fluent in Mandarin? Sure. <laughs> How was the adjustment to Shanghai life? Um, it was very different, but I loved it and embraced it, and I learned a lot. What will you miss most about Shanghai? That pedestrians don't have the right of way. <laughs> Understandable. That's something to get used to. <laughs> Congratulations, and thank you again. <laughs> My character, uh, his name is Brad, and he's... Um, He's a guy who goes over to China ostensibly to teach English, but really just to party and meet girls and uh, and have that life. So he's, he's kind of one of the types of expats you may meet in China. And did you live in China yourself for a while? I did. I did. I was living in, uh, in Beijing at the time that they were doing um, some casting in Beijing and Shanghai. And uh, that's how I met uh, the filmmakers, Daniel and, uh, and uh, Janet and everyone else. So how is your Mandarin, sir? My Mandarin? Uh, hai kui, hai kui. Uh, which means it's like, it's okay.
But I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to say I like uh, I need to study more. Right? I'm supposed to be very humble and very modest. Like, oh, I could. <laughs> well, it's much better than mine. Thank you so much. Thank and congratulations. You very much. Thanks very much. <laughs>